Which I don't think anyone cares, but if you do care, thanks for watching this video. Y'all know it's hard out here for us natural girls to get our hair straight and flowing and gone with the wind. But it is a way, it is possible, and I got the technique down. First things first, you want to wash your hair, wash and condition your hair with lightweight products. What's light on my hair might be heavy for your hair, but this is what I use and it's light for me. This Pantene. Shampoo and conditioner, this is just conditioner bottle, but the shampoo bottle is the exact same. This is the conditioner and shampoo that I use on my hair when I want to get a six straight flatter. It's lightweight for me, it's lightweight. Before I flatter my hair, I deep condition. You want to leave in, leave in the conditioner for about 10 minutes, 15, however long, up to an hour if you want to. And this is basically what I use to deep condition. Then I wash, shampoo it out with the same keratin pantene to blow dry my hair out it's with a little heat protectant you don't need a lot a little goes a long way is i see heat protectant or something like that put it on my hair one time and it's just to blow dry i don't put this on my hair before i flatter and i just put it on before i blow dry it and i had this bo same bottle for about four years because a little goes a long way the major key y'all really is the flatter and blow dryer you use you want to have a good blow dryer and a good flatter this blow dryer that i use infinity pro um i got this for about 50 dollars at target or 40 dollars at target i don't really remember but this is a good blow dryer because it's it get hot you get your hair straight i love blow dryers like this because they just the go i use this flatter and this is about 50 dollars at target infinity pro Kanye flatter i like these flatter so far um i used them one time and it got the job done i think it gets, it gets up to 450 heat but um, yeah, and now I'm just gonna show y'all how I do it.
done with my hair. I'm giving y'all little tips when flat ironing your hair. First of all, make sure your flat iron is always on. Because I don't know about y'all when those, I think when these flat irons get too hot, they turn off. And I just be flat ironing all these sections of my hair. And then I finally find out that the freaking flat iron is off. These small sections, you know, like this much. So the flat iron can really get every strand so I can get y'all a little, you know, as straight as you want. I do flat iron my hair on um, 455, the highest these go. Cause I like my hair to be really straight as possible. And sometimes I just want to run my hair straight. As possible as I can get. And I feel like it's no reason why I should be able to. Just because people say, why you, you shouldn't do your hair that much? Or, you know what I'm saying? As long as you ain't getting up every morning and flattening your hair on 455, then that's a problem. But when you do it every now and then, just get your hair straight as you want it. Cool. I mean, for me, it's cool. My curls revert back. But, but yeah, that's how I do it. As y'all can see, it's pretty flowy. Love God. Love yourself. And that's what